Hey, how's it going, Ernest? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video. In this video analysis, I'm going to show you um, exactly where your competitor is in uh, the market that you're going to be targeting. I'm going to reverse engineer them, show you exactly what they're doing online to get uh, the top rankings in Google, uh, and show you exactly what it's going to take to start a business in this niche and completely dominate the market here in San Diego. All right, so as we as you can see, we're on my business side. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency here in San Diego. So please visit amplocal.com to get a better idea. Um, you know, see other our other services that we offer. Um, but this video really is the cream of the crop on what we do, and that's search engine optimization. All right, so um, cloisters. All right, so this is a specific term you know in regards to senior assisted living um, and it's a very actually very profitable keyword so I'm gonna go over some uh, relevant information that you may or may not know um, so as you may already know uh, over 90% of the population when they need a product or, or service they're gonna use Google all right it's the most powerful popular way to get information from, from the internet um, and 96% of them are gonna click on the first page and over 70% will click at the very top, the number one, two, or three. All right, so having your company rank for each of these keywords at the top is going to be very, very profitable um, to driving traffic and you know more leads and more sales for your company. Um, so for Cloisters San Diego, um, just like you had mentioned, you know the number one guy is. Uh, San Diego Assisted Living or San Diego Senior Assisted Living. And you have two spots, um, Cloisters of the Valley and Cloisters La Jolla. Um, so let me show you what these keywords look, are looking like. So someone, every month, someone's looking for cloisters or something related to cloister, uh, you know, anywhere between 800 and 1,000 times per month. All right, that's huge. So that means, you know, between 800 and 1,000 people per month in San Diego are, are looking for these services. Um, so if you're at the top of these searches, uh, you could really, really grow your business, all right? Um, for Cloisters um, alone, it's 40 searches. So as you can see, there's tons and tons of uh, different types of keywords that we could be using um, to target and, and drive uh, business to the company. Another one is assisted living, all right? So if I type this in here, assisted living is very common. Look at this keyword is much more profitable, um, 7,000 to 8,000 times per month. Someone's searching for that and just assi assisted living alone is 320 times. And then you, then you have, you know, senior apartments, senior housing, um, assisted living facility all of these uh, types of words. Um, you know, we could also get into the different medical conditions, Alzheimer's and, and things of that nature. Uh, but generally, when people are searching for your service, it's gonna be assisted living or senior, or senior assisted living or these are cloisters. All right, so these are the most profitable ones. Um, so for cloisters, as I mentioned, you know, your top guy here, uh, here's his, website all right um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how much traffic he's getting show you exactly which keywords he's driving the most traffic from um, and then go into the SEO and show you what we need to do to beat him um, so here is how much traffic is he getting he's getting so he's actually only getting around uh, you know 10 20 leads per month which is pretty good you know, it's not bad. He's uh, for this keyword, people that are that are searching for uh, cloisters in San Diego, um, they're very specific on. They know what they're looking for, so, and these this guy is pretty much dominating uh, for San Diego. Um, obviously, you know, like I showed you, there's many keywords uh, for this one niche, um, but he's kind of like owning it for cloisters specifically. But, you know, like I showed you in the keywords, we can rank your business for all of these and you'll be getting way more business than 10 to 20 uh, visitors per month. Um, so let me show you the keywords he's ranking in right now. So Cloisters of the Valley, you know, that's very specific. People know about the business, so they're searching for it. 
Um, and then Cloisters, of course, you know, is the next one, which is getting the other 2%. Um, but he's really missing out on a lot of the action as far as the rest of the keywords um, goes. And then, of course, the assisted living, you know, he's not even ranked in there. Um, so let me give you an idea real quick. So I did type in, uh, you know, senior living communities in San Diego, which is very popular. Um, so these are some pretty big top dog uh, companies. This one right here, Merrill Gardens. All right, just to give you an idea of what what kind of business they're driving. Let me punch this in here. So they're getting around 173. So 173 is a lot more than um, the, uh, the, the 10 that these guys are getting, okay? And I just shot back over to these uh, keywords here. Um, so as you can see, you know, there's huge potential in, in ranking in all these different types of keywords, um, you know, not just focusing on one niche, although you can dominate one specific keyword niche um, and just completely just pull all your traffic from there. But there's just potential. I mean, look, there's thousands of thousands of searches a month for these services. So um, so how do we do it? You know, what, what what's the best way, you know? Um, so real quick, if you're number one, in the market, like I was talking about earlier, you know, that's 35% of the market. If you're number one organically um, here, and then if you're number one in the maps, that's actually 70%. So you can corner up to 70% of the market. And then if you run a Google AdWord, uh, which I don't see any on this page. So this is another thing too, like people that own these cl uh, cloisters, they're not running ads. So this is untouched market. This is actually low-hanging fruit. And I love seeing this. So if you typed in, um, let's type in assisted assisted living, San Diego. See, look at all these ads. There's a lot more competition, okay? And then you got these the big players here, all right? So a lot more competition. So these cloisters is actually really low-hanging fruit, all right? So how do we get you there? How do we dominate the market, all right? So first thing, I'm going to do this based off of... Um, this guy's website all right so what Google wants to look at the very first thing all right they have an algorithm all right there's 200 determined factors I'm not going to talk about all of them just going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones the first thing is um, authoritative content so Google wants to know that you're educating the customer you know mentioning all the keywords assisted living cloisters you know alzheimer's you know all the different medical conditions that you cater to in san diego mentioning the cities that you serve is very very important because people are going to be punching in the city you know for whatever service when they're searching on google um, and if they just happen to type in you know assisted living or cloisters for example google knows their location so it's going to pick the most popular important ones uh, for the local maps and organics as well so, um, and once to see all these keyword research and all the content built into the homepage, and you want to have at least 1,000 to 2,000 words on the homepage. So these guys, they barely have, you know, 200 words right here. That's about it. You know, not, not much um, content, which is great for you. This is really low hanging fruit. These guys are number one. Um, this is definitely one thing uh, that we can overtake them in. Um, just to point out a couple things, it's great to have, you know, phone number visible right away to contact them. So they're doing that right. And then as soon as the customer hits the page, there's a spot uh, to get an email and information. So this is something great you want to have for your website. All right. And if you're on a mobile device, uh, you want this clickable. Okay. Which brings me into the next thing, being mobile friendly. All right. Um, 60 to 80% of people, when they uh, search for a product or service, they're going to use their iPhone or Android, so you have to be mobile. Uh, so their site is mobile friendly, okay, from doing with my scan here, with my mobile friendly test with Google. Um, so that's definitely something that you want to have for your business, and we can design you a, you know, a fully mobile um, web design that's custom, uh, just specific and relevant to your service. It looks very professional. Um, real quick, uh, back to the content. Um, I typed in elephant. I look what's number one on Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one for authoritative content. So this is going back to the content. I jumped into the mobile friendly. I want to bring it back to the content real quick. 
this is everything about the evolution, what they eat, uh, habitat, everything about elephants. Okay, this is probably 50,000 words. I just wanted to give you a quick idea what I meant by authoritative content. Um, but like I said, 1,000 to 2,000 words. All right, so we talked about the content for the page, um, talked about the uh, call to action, which is great, you know, having the contact form, the phone number clickable on a mobile device, and then of course uh, being mobile friendly. Okay, so that's two things. All right. All right. Third thing I want to talk to you about are local citations. We also call them business listings. So these is, these are very important. This is how we get our business name, address, and phone number out on the internet. Some examples, obviously Google, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages, white pages. Um, when we do them, you have to have the business name, address, phone number identical. If not, Google is going to slap you down. So these guys have a 9% error rate, okay, uh, which is actually pretty good. I've seen you know, I've done these videos and uh, I've seen, you know, 98% or even 100% error rate. It's because they weren't listening. So these are the top 50 in the country. Um, you want to be listening to all of them, okay? It looks like whoever did them uh, knows, kind of knows what they're doing as far as citations go. Or, you know, maybe they just did, did, did the right thing and put their right information. But um, what they're missing out, these popular ones that they're not uh, listed in, um, Google's definitely... Um, recognizing that as an error but they're definitely outdoing all the other competitors in the market um, so they are that's why whenever um, we searched uh, you know cloisters San Diego they're dominating they're a one pack usually you have you know the top three but their uh, their listings are so great and accurate uh, Google has re really recognized them as the best local cloister um, which is still beatable. I mean, look, 9% error rate, you know, usually as soon as I, we take on a client, this is the very first thing we do is get all these 50 listed accurately. So they're missing like roughly 15, uh, 10 to 12. You see where it says missing listings? Um, but again, there's thousands of these, um, and we're going to get you listed in hundreds of them over time. But definitely right away, the top 50 you get listed in. We get you Google verified for Google Maps. So you can start pulling 35% of that market and then list you everywhere else in the, in the first month. That's the very first thing that we do. Um, so next, the last thing I want to talk to you about is backlinks. Okay, so say you have a client thoroughly impressed, you know, maybe you have a family, you're helping out, they're elderly and, you know, maybe they have a website or want to write an article about you and publish it. So what's going to happen is they're going to mention you on the internet and Google is going to see this as a vote. Okay, it's... Google is a huge popularity contest. The more votes you have, it's like running for president. You're going to win the presidency the more votes you have. So these are your votes. Um, so this is incredible for you. Okay, these guys are ranked number one. Um, it's They're really in a low-hanging fruit market. Um, to, for one thing, their content on their page. Uh, yes, they have the citations. Um, and they are mobile friendly, but this huge one right here, this directly impacts your organic rankings. They are number one because nobody else is doing it. So this is saying that there's five websites on the internet right now mentioning them 50 times. Okay, and this could be like uh, social media posts or blogging posts, but these five means there's actually five websites right now mentioning them. Okay, and the trust flow is the quality of these. Zero, as you can imagine, is really bad. So let me show you what that means. This is what Google's looking at. It wants to see high quality websites mentioning you. So they're at a very low quality. All these websites that's mentioned them, very low quality. They're almost don't even matter. Um, but then again, you know, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying this. They are in a niche that's n untapped. So as soon as we uh, get you going and start linking you to high quality domains, you're going to skyrocket. All of our domains are 25, uh, 20 and 25. They're actually above, off, off the charts. Um, and typically we like to link you uh, to four per month. Um, and that's just to show, you know, you don't want to do too much right away. Uh, Google's going to think something going on. Let me give you an idea. So th this is your top competitors. Let me show you one of our sites. Um, this is a lead generation site that we built specifically just to generate solar panel leads for one of our clients in LA. Um, so let me show you how powerful this site is from linking from our links. Super Solar San Diego. 
32. Look at that trust flow. Very, very high off the charts, right? We got 10 links pointing. We've done blogging and social media as well for them. So we have 10 links that are 32. Look at this. It, this chart doesn't even, it's off the charts. Okay, so that's just giving an idea how powerful our, li our links are. We have unlimited amounts of uh, high quality links to point your, to point to your site. Um, alrighty, so that's about it for the video. I wanted to throw some case study stuff in here too, um, just so we can build some credibility. Uh, look, let you see some of our other clients. So, uh, San Diego Auto Connection Mission Valley, huge auto, uh, used auto dealer. That's one of our clients. We've been doing their SEO for four months now. Um, when I first took them on, they were like on page two, page three, um, for some huge keywords. For this major keyword, San Diego Auto Dealers, you know, they get uh, hundreds of leads per month. They rank number three in the maps right here and number one organically. And they're just straight killing it. Um, this is how much traffic they're getting per month. You know, anywhere between 2,300, 2,000 to 2,600 uh, visitors per month. So that's one great case study. Um, another one we're doing, a uh, party bus uh, company in um, San Diego. This is a lead generation site that we built that's generating them almost 300 leads per month. Actual phone calls, they're closing tons and tons of deals for party bus and limo. Um, we, rank, we built this website, custom website in Escondido. It's ranked number one organic, number one maps, just straight killing it. Um, so they're a huge success story as well. They actually, when I first met Amari uh, back in December, he was they were uh, running their shop pretty much out of out of a Starbucks. That's where I met him, <laughs> and now they're in a uh, one of the tallest business uh, suites in um, Mission Valley. They've got their own office. Um, they bought another party bus, bought an, a Hummer limo. Um, so they their company has li literally quadrupled since I met them. Um, so, which is completely awesome. So huge potential. That's pretty much it for search engine optimization and the lead generation that, um, I showed you. Um, I really hope all that made sense. Um, I want you to give us a shot. Let us get you a site going, uh, get the backlinks, the local citations and really dominate the market. As I said many times, <coughs> uh, this niche cloisters is very, really low hanging fruit. Um, you know, there's not many times where I do these videos and have and enabled to see that. Usually, most of the niches, like I'm, I'm doing videos for roofing companies and you know HVAC contractors and uh, you know party bus, and it's usually pretty competitive markets. You know, solar panels, um, even carpet cleaning. But for yours, you know, not many people are doing it. You know, the people that are looking for cloisters are. are uh, searching that specifically and the top dog is getting it because nobody else has really dropped a, a, a line in the water to catch some fish so um, reach reach back out to me um, and let's chat so I, again I appreciate the time you have my contact information visit the site for more information and I'll be hearing from you shortly thanks